You know, <laughs> you'd have better luck putting that luggage on your roof. Yeah, I do have. This study brick is the bee's knees. Well, actually, they make luggage carriers today that are easier to use. I say, that's a load of horse feathers. Nope. Because we have such a variety of cars nowadays, luggage carriers come in all shapes and sizes. Gee, sounds like a head scratcher. It's a snap. On rentluggage.com, selecting the perfect rooftop carrier can be done in three simple steps. First, consider the size of your vehicle. Bigger vehicles like this one will work with just about any carrier, but smaller vehicles like this one will require a smaller carrier, like the ones from Yakima or Thule. Well, aren't these spiffy? You know, I come from a simpler time where cars had corners. Second, take a look at the top of your car. What type of rack system does it have? There are three types. Cars with naked roofs, cars with side rails, and cars with cross rails. For a naked roof, look for carriers from Rightline or Yakima. For cars with side rails, you can also use a Yakima or Rightline carrier. Cars with cross rails provide the ideal setup. They can use just about any carrier. Where I come from, there's one standard roof. Clarence, times have changed. Third, determine how much stuff you need to pack. If you want to pack as much as possible, use a right line carrier. It's 18 cubic feet in size and will fit four to six bags of luggage. If you have less to pack, the Yakima and Thule carriers will do the job. They run 14 to 15 cubic feet in size and will hold three to four bags. Now that sounds like it'll cost a pretty penny. These days, you can rent your luggage and keep those pretty pennies in your pocket. Are you yanking my chain? Nope. All that's left is to pack up and enjoy the ride. Gee, you really know your onions. I know. Now that's what I call hotsy-totsy. Let's scram.